Hey guys, it's Lemming Rush, and today we're going to be watching a replay of Chris65450 in his KV220. We're on the map Wide Park, or he's on the map Wide Park, and he's going to be sort of playing the 1-2 line. In the end, he ends up getting 8 kills and 1,888 damage, so this is a pretty awesome game, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so what Chris is going to do is he's going to play the 1-2-3 line on this map. I personally do the same in my heavies. I don't have this exact tank, but I have a KV-1, and they play really similarly from what I've seen, so... Mm -hmm. um, what Chris is going to do is he's just going to take out this bush right here. You'll see where, you'll see where he goes. He goes right here. And this bush really allows him to play vision games with the other heavies on this line. It doesn't really matter because they're so close to him. But if, like, the heavies were farther back, this would be an amazing bush. You can see he side scrapes that shot from the Churchill 3, which is perfect. And he's just going to sort of keep putting shots into that Churchill if he sits there. So the Churchill's on 4 HP. In the end, the Churchill gets arty I believe. And right now, something is shooting at Chris. So we know there's something sort of at J1, J2, K1, K2. In that area, there's going to be a tank destroyer who's camping back there. Well, or it could be anything, really. It could be the DW2. It sounded like a really small caliber gun. So, real realistically, it could be anything. I would expect the tank destroyer to be camping back there, though. So, There's the T14. He puts a shot into his side. He's going to try to put another shot into his side, but that goes into the turret. Um, this gun has 99 pens, so it actually has a lot of trouble penning things like the T14 side. And uh, Chris is just going to push up straight into here. I need to stop saying, so yeah. <laughs> That's what someone told me in my last video. So I'm trying to work on it. You'll notice I'm making really awkward pauses. It's difficult for me, so I'm sorry about that. Anyways, Chris is pushing right into this uh, Mardu 38T who's camping at the back. In my opinion, this is a really good play to put auto-aim on, but he makes a mistake. Auto-aim is one of those amazing tools that helps you not tunnel on things. And look right there. He just passed three, ta four tanks. He just drove right by them, and he had he he didn't notice them because you know he's been tunneling on this guy the whole time. So when I use auto aim, I really like to look around and take advantage of the fact that the computer's aiming for me, especially when it's something at especially when it's something like uh, a Martyr 38T where you don't need to aim for weak spots. Uh, try to take advantage of the fact that you have auto aim on and that you don't need to aim. All right, so there's a Stug, Stug 4 right there. He's going to put shots into him. The Stug is normally a 3 three or 4 shot there, um, but someone else hits him, so he becomes a 2 shot. Chris gets the kill. That's his second kill of the game, and he's going to push straight onto the Sherman 3. So there's a T14 to his left. He notices that. I noticed it on my minimap, and I imagine Chris did too. He's just going to push onto the Sherman 3, though. So that T14 might be able to kill. There we go. He does kill the KV-1, actually. And Chris is just going to DPM this guy down. So I see. I think I, he makes another mistake here. Right now he's trying to face hike the Sherman 3. Now that normally works, but he's got a DW2 right there and a T67 right in front of him. So this is a bit... Uh, he shows himself to too many enemies, but here he makes the right play. He notices the DW2 wasn't really aiming at him. And he also saw the fact that the T67 was a one-shot. So he killed the one-shot first to reduce the amount of guns shooting back at him. That is the better play. Alright, so the Sexton is now a one shot. He already put one into him. He bounces the second shot off the Sexton, and here he's going to get the kill. Now he's going to look at the DW2. So it looks like the DW2 is AFK here, but right now it's totally fine to be farming him because he's keeping him lit for something that is, uh, camp, you know, putting shots into him. If you sort of look at the lineup, you can deduce that it's the M3 Lee because the T14 and the DW2 are lit. So he gets the kill shot on that DW2. There's the T14 over there, but he has no shots, and he's tracked. The M3 Lee's lit, and he does have shots. So this thing has trouble penning the front of the M3 Lee, I noticed, but he should be fine if he aims for sort of the engine, like the side of it. So there we go, he gets the kill, and now it's just a matter of killing the T14 for his Radley Walters. He's going to load gold here, and in my opinion, this is the, the correct thing to do, because he's a two-shot, and then the T14 is also a two-shot. So T14 puts one into him and pens. Uh, Chris increases his angle, so you notice how the T14 bounces the next shot. And Chris puts one into his lower plate, uh, and the T14 bounces again. Alright, so that's the game. I hope you enjoyed. Let's go look at the end plates. Alrighty, so as you can see, that was a Master Badge, uh, Radley Walters, Spartan, Steel Wall, High Caliber, and a Top Gun. In the end, he ended up getting 2,100 XP, 58,000 credits. He did 1,888 damage, 8 kills, and 1,400 base XP. So this was a really, really good game. Um, in my opinion, he played it really well. I highlighted some of the mistakes, so hopefully you guys don't make them, and hopefully Chris can learn from this game as well. 
Um, and yeah, that's it. I think I said so yeah or and yeah twice in this game. So hopefully I'm improving. I'll, I'll work on it some more. Thank you very much uh, for the feedback. All right, uh, thank you everyone for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to like and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.